Uh, how do you deal with the loss of honeybee colonies? Well, I, I deal with that by creating new colonies. And bear with me for a few minutes and then I'll explain to you what happened. During 2018, I'd used formic proformic acid. I had like 24 colonies or 23. And I was skeptical and I checked afterwards the following few months and I never did find a varroa mite. So the following year, I created 60 new colonies and I ordered three more of these containers because I had almost 75 colonies and I wasn't skeptical anymore. And I did that during the month of September, 20 days. And this will kill your honeybees and it will kill about 10% of your queens. So I went from like 74 to around 64 or 65, somewhere around that area. And I started realizing during the month towards the end of October that I had an issue. My bees were still dying. So I quickly switched to acidic acid and I stopped the dying in the month of November. I used acetic acid to start in November several weeks in a row. But the damage had already been done. I lost most of my winter bees because the formic proformic acid did not kill the varroa mites. And I have all kinds of stuff and I'm just itching to start new colonies. And this is only half of it. And I do want to make a comment about my wife has breast cancer and they gave her 18 months to live. And she's been doing the chemo and she went to the hospital Friday and she almost died. So I, I, I can compare to losing your spouse to losing honeybee colonies. And I know this sounds sick, but if I lost my wife, I could probably continue if I had honeybee colonies. But if I lost my honeybee colonies and I couldn't have honeybees ever again, I think I'd probably attempt suicide. Now here's a colony a few weeks ago was so large I gave them another deep. This is a mystery to me. They were very, very large and it got cold for a couple weeks. And I come out and I checked them a couple days ago and the queen was up in the medium land and they weren't large enough for two deeps anymore. So I don't know where the bees went. The farmer... 150 yards south of me did do some planting a few weeks ago or a week ago and he was out there spraying and I think he planted sugar beets because it's really early to be planting anything and I don't know if they had anything to do with my bees dying. I've noticed other colonies aren't as large as they used to be and I did do an acidic acid treatment a week ago because I've been having issues with colonies losing bees even the smaller ones are losing too many bees and then I had three of scoundings in the last seven days and I think this acetic acid residue and if you get this in your lungs you're going to cough for five minutes I think the smaller colonies can't handle all this residue being in in the hive just by doing this I can I can almost feel it getting in my lungs so I think maybe that's why I've had this scoundings oh and then it's been too cold to put feeders Sirp feeders in the hives, and it's a lot of extra work. I'm the only one with honeybees in the area right now, so my bees don't have varroa mites. I didn't find any varroa mites in all the colonies that I checked. And I've got syrup out here, but they haven't found it yet. That's the syrup left over from last year that I'd saved. I've got more stuff down here. Deeps and frames, and I'm just... I'm just itching to start splits, and my colonies do have drones. I've got all kinds of stuff down here. All the way back in, the, in there. But the issue is, I don't have any surplus honey anymore. I need to keep some colonies large enough, at least 20, 25, so they can make two mediums of honey this summer if I do splits too early it's going to slow down their ability to make a bunch of honey see these colonies right here aren't large enough to split right now anyway these colonies over here are all the way down through there they are large enough and they do have drones um, last year I did my splits Memorial weekend I had 18 colonies and I created 60 more new ones I ended up right around 75 Four more weeks will be Memorial Weekend, and these colonies here will probably be large enough to do some splits. So I think maybe I'm better off waiting, even though the way I get over losing colonies is to create more colonies. I think the smart thing to do is to hold off for four weeks 
and just deal with this. I could give them surf if they don't go over to those feeders. Get them to really start laying if it warms up enough. So, okay, thank you.